You already know that the Android Studio Dolphin version has been released. This version of Android Studio includes some list of new features and improvements. And in that list, which made me excited was the new Logcat version. This version of Logcat gives the new look and experience to view your app logs. So in this video, I am going to explain you what are all the updates that the new version of Logcat has. Hello friends. Welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. In my code, I have written some log messages. I added debug, info, warn and error messages. So here the tag represents my fragment name. That is first fragment. So same way I have written some more log messages in my second fragment also. So let's show you these logs in my logcat. Run the app. Open logcat view. If you don't find this logcat view in your tool window, go to view tool windows and select logcat here. So the messages here are filtered by default with package colon mine means current running app package name. If I remove this, all the messages gets displayed. So when I click button in my app, the log messages are shown. See the message format here. They are distinguished based on the log level and also shown in a different color based on the severity. This way it is easy for us to track the logs. Now I click on back button in my app and the second fragment logs are also printed. Now you want to show the specific tag messages. You can filter them using tag colon the tag name here. I am giving first fragment. So only my first fragment logs are shown. And also you can filter using log level by adding level colon warn. So the log messages from level warning are displayed. See here for the level you can give any log level debug info warn or error. This way you can search your log messages based on the simplified key value search query. And you can find your search history here and also make them your favorite by clicking the star button here so that your favorite queries are listed out in the top of all the such queries. This view of logcat is very interesting, right? But we can make it more interested by changing the view modes. Here, if you click on this button, you can see the different views. Standard view represent the same. Compact view gives you the less information. And you can also customize these views by selecting modify views. See here, standard view has timestamp, process IDs, tags and package names along with log messages. And compact view has only timestamp with the messages. But this also you can customize by selecting and unselecting the options. Ok, now an another feature of this logcat is split windows. You can have multiple windows to compare the logs. Right click in this view, select split right or split down. See two windows are appeared. So now I wanted to see the logs for my another emulator in this second window. Run the app in another emulator and select that emulator process in the second window. See the logs are shown for the second emulator process. So this way you can easily compare between two sets of logs. And you can close this window by right click and select close. In this new logcat, now you can track your app crashes and restarts as well. See here, if I stop my app abruptly, then I get the process ended message. And again, if I restart the app, I get process started message with the new process ID. If the message length is exceeding the window and you are finding it difficult to scroll right every time, you can select soft wrap option. So the messages are wrapped to fit in the window. These features are all explained in the developer site. This link I will give you in the description box for your further reference. And the very important point here is this logcat is available only for Android Studio Dolphin users. So update the Android Studio version and get the logcat version update. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you like my explanation, please like, comment and subscribe to iRaka Tech Solutions. Thank you.